Okay, so I'm gonna talk you through, well, I'm gonna show you, I've, I've recorded the process of me taking an antibody test for COVID-19. These tests uh, arrived last night. Um, we bought them back in March. We all had, you know, quite bad fevers and coughs. A um, couple of trips to the hospital for my youngest, um, who is asthmatic, so we we'll worry about her when she gets these things. She's had quite episode, quite bad episodes of croup before where we've ended up calling um, 999. So we just thought, we've had all this illness, COVID-19 is around. Um, if we've had it, then, you know, we don't have to worry quite so much anymore that, you know, if she gets, comes down with a fever or a cough in the future, then we wouldn't have to worry so much. Um, they come in a pack of 25 uh, in a, a pack of tests. So we thought, you know, we can, family can chip in and we can send the test kits out to them as well. So they can all have a test. Um, so they arrived last night. Um, it's £10, uh, £10 for each individual test cassette. It works at, so 250 quid for a, for a box. Um, back a couple of weeks ago when they were first talking about these tests and they said that, you know, they're going to be imminently um, available on Amazon and in Boots. I did some Googling, thought I wanted to, see you know how these test kits worked um, and how effective they are um, you know are they accurate Fi ended up finding a couple of um, laboratory supply companies advertising these test kits for sale gave one of them a call and they said yeah we're gonna get them in soon do you want to place an order so I just thought you know what yeah we'll go with it um, so they arrived last night took a test this morning and uh, yeah I'll walk you through the process of how that works this is the 2019 MCOV IgG slash IgM rapid test cassette test. So we've got a test kit, we've got a dropper, and we've got the buffer solution. So we use a dropper, we hold the dropper vertically, draw the... Uh, so we use a finger stick lancet <clears throat> here. And we lance the finger after cleaning, of course. Use the dropper to draw the specimen about one centimeter above the fill line and transfer one full drop 20 microliters of specimen to the sample well and then add two drops of buffer approximately 80 microliters and start the timer okay so i'm going to test out the test cassette so we've got the test well then there are three markings on the chart here the indicator so we've got at the top there's a C so if we see a line appear uh, next to C then that is the control line and we know that the test has worked we then may get either a line next to IgM or IgG so this will detect the presence of the coronavirus IgM or IgG antibodies so if there's a line there for either of them or for both then you have them present in the sample I've already washed my hands, but we'll use some rubbing alcohol to clean the area. I'll wait for that to dry. So we pull that out. Okay, so then we just, we just don't pull. Um, start turn it it will come out a little ways do not pull it keep twisting the plastic might take a few turns and then the white plastic will just come away so i've already taken the end of this one um, we've got ready our dropper and our buffer solution so quick and easy oh and we massage the palm might help if you put your arm down. So you wipe away the first bit of blood and put the arm down, keep massaging, so I'm sort of massaging down along my palm to my finger. All right. So now we'll So what, I don't think I've actually got enough blood on there. 
Right, okay, I didn't get enough enough from the first sample, so we're gonna try this again. So I'll clean off the site. Now I'll show you how to open these. So as you first turn it, it will pop out a little bit. Do not pull. Keep twisting, and that will break the connection. Don't pull it at all. And there, it's come off. If you pull it, then you'll release the plunger and it and you won't work. So Obviously, I'm, I'm doing this by myself, and I'm not worried that I'm infectious at the moment, so I haven't got any gloves on, I'm not really taking any precautions, but I'll clean down the area afterwards, um, obviously. So push it firmly against the finger. I felt it more that time. Right, so. Wipe the first drop, tiny droplet of the blood, and then massage the palm down. I think I've got a suitable size now. So just touch the pipette to the top of the surface. Okay, and now we put one full drop. There we go, one full drop on there. And now we put two drops of buffer solution. One, two, don't touch the sample well with it, just let it drop into it. And now we wait for 10 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. So you've got to read the results at 10 minutes. Do not interpret the results after 20 minutes. So I think that we're starting to see the control line appear. So. If the control line doesn't appear, it usually means that you haven't had enough substrate in the system to flow up. It, it's basically like a wicking stick. Okay, so <clears throat> a bit clumsily done, but it's my first time and I'm not a clinician. Um, obviously take some precautions with sharps, with blood samples, clean the area properly, dispose of the blood and the finger stick lancet properly. On the efficacy of the test, so it tests for two things. One is the IgM antibody, the other is the IgG anti an antibody. The IgM antibody starts to appear in the blood at a level that is detectable from about three days after you start to show symptoms. Now, the test isn't brilliant at detecting this IgM antibody. Um, it can produce some false negatives and some false positives. So it, it, the test might tell you that you haven't got it when you do have it, uh, and it might tell it might not detect the antibody when you do actually have it in the body. The most reliable part of the test is the IgG antibody. Now that starts to get to a level that is detectable by this test seven days after you stop showing any symptoms. So this test isn't very good at detecting for the presence of the live virus in your body. It's not detect it's not great at detecting if you have the COVID-19 virus right now. If you want to detect or test if you have had COVID-19, then this test is more suitable for that and it only works um, or starts to work reliably um, at a time over seven days of when you last started showing symptoms and I believe it's best taken um, at around 28 days after you think that you've had the disease. If the test tells you that you've had it, then it is very reliable in that in that respect. So if it detects the IgG antibody, you get a line next to the IgG mark and a line in the control region, then you have almost definitely had COVID-19 virus. Now, if no line appears in the IgG region, but it does appear in the control region, then the test has worked properly, um, but it has failed to detect the presence of IgG in the sample. Now, there is a small chance, because this test for the IgG antibody kind of fails safely in a way, there's a small chance that a negative test result um, has failed to actually pick up the fact that you have got it in your body. It's a small test, it's about one in uh, 10, Oh, sorry, it's about a uh, 1% chance of, of getting that false result. 
Um, so you may have the vi have the antibody when the test hasn't picked it up. If the test says that you've got it, then you almost certainly do have it. So that's yeah. So that covers the efficacy of it. Obviously, uh, the test doesn't come with any of these lancets. You might use different lancets to to stick your finger. Um, just be very careful about the size of the droplet and the size of the droplet of both blood and buffer. So you need to get them in the right amounts and the right ratio. Otherwise, the test might not work properly if there's not enough solution to, to wick up the, the, the test paper. And um, if you don't put enough uh, a large enough droplet of blood in there, then you, it might not detect uh, a level of antibodies to give you a, 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 the right reading. So at the 10 minute mark, you can see there's clearly a line in the control region. There are no lines in either the IgG or IgM region. So that means that the test hasn't detected the presence of COVID-19 antibodies in my blood. Now there's still a small chance um, because of the way the test works. There's a small chance that I might actually have them and the test has failed to pick them up. Um, however, it, it is a small chance. Um, usually the test will detect them if you do have them. Um, so, yeah, uh, it, it, the test doesn't usually give false positives, so if you've got a positive reading, um, you've almost definitely got the antibodies. So that's the test. That's how to do it. Learn from my mistakes. Um, just be careful with sharps, blood samples, etc. Um, hope you find this useful. If you've got any comments, just yeah, leave them below.